welcome to 2009 Hyundai Accent battery maintenance. I just brought the car in from the outside there, it's snowing. Today we're going to test the battery. Um, it's, always, it's always a good idea to do this three times a year. And then we're going to determine, uh, first we're going to test the battery, then we're going to test the uh, charging system. And then we're also going to uh, show you a product I use to, to uh, keep the terminals clean. So. Let's get this hood open there and, and uh, we'll continue. Okay, first thing you want to do is uh, to get a 10 millimeter wrench, take a negative off first, put it aside, and then take your positive terminal off. We're going to clean these terminals. Um, if they're really bad on your car, uh, a solution of baking soda and water and uh, just a, a brush. Brush them off and clean them. Wipe the surface of the battery down. Make sure you wear safety glasses when you do this. and. Uh, You'll notice the red spray on here. I'm going to show you the product I use. This this battery is over three and a half years old, and these terminals are perfect. So, but I'm going to wipe them down and then show you how to respray them before we do our load test on our battery. You're going to make sure that you have a fully charged battery before you run this test, and uh, this test will vary based upon temperature. And I'll show you a chart later in the video on how to determine whether your battery is good based upon the temperature chart. Okay, I got the terminals off. This terminal here, you're going to need a, a wrench like this, 10 millimeter. It's hard to get into this bowl here because of this plastic piece. The uh, so I cleaned off the terminals. They're all nice and shiny. If they're corroded, you can use uh, brushes like this. You can also buy a uh, uh, a brush, wire brush that goes in and out of here to clean the inside of those. But those are pretty clean. So what we're going to do is uh, the terminals are off. I just cleaned all these connectors here, 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 and here, and then you're going to wipe off the surface of the battery. Now, Hyundai does checks the battery every oil change on the service one, and I'm going to show you how to do that check right now. Another thing I forgot to mention is uh, when you take off these connectors, always take the negative side off first, and then the positive side off. If you do it the other way, you could get a spark and damage your computer. So then when you put it back on, you're going to put the positive side on first, secure it, and then the negative side back on. So just this is a very important thing you understand that you don't do not take these off backwards because you will damage your computer and the electronics in your car if you disconnect the battery the wrong way. Okay, so now that the battery terminals are back on, first put the positive back on, tighten it, hand tight, and then just a little bit. You don't want to strip this. Same as the negative, the next one you put on. You're gonna grab a can of battery terminal spray, and it looks something like this. This stuff works wonders. You can get this at any local parts, auto parts store. So we're just going to shake up the can. And take off the lid. And basically, you're just going to There you go. Now when you're done with the can, it's important if you want to save your uh, Turn the can upside down and run it through until all the fluid comes out of the nozzle. And then you can have this for many years to come to keep reusing it. So, and that's pretty much it. That's how you maintain your battery terminals from corroding out. So, this cap just goes over like this, snaps on. So, now we're going to go get our load tester and uh, we're going to run a test to test the. The battery to see if it's good or not. Okay, so you're going to need a device like this. This cost me $50. It's uh, called a load tester. And you're going to see a chart here. Now, first we're going to hook it up and test out the battery voltage at rest. And then, this is a calibration meter. Make sure it's calibrated to zero before we start the test. And this switch down here is your load tester. You're going to now that says according to the manual you should not put a load on the battery any more than 10 seconds at a time 
and do not press this switch while the car is running. So, just so you know. Now, we're going to hook up the terminals. The red one is going to go to positive, and the black one is going to go to negative. Hook it up. Same way you disconnect the battery. Hook the negative up first, then the positive. And then take out the positive, and then the negative when we're done. So we're going to hook this up right now. Okay, so that we're right now we're sitting at green. And it's all hooked up to the battery. Like I said, red positive, black negative. If you hook it up backwards, this needle will not read anything. So let's go up here and let's put a load on the battery. So we're going to push the switch. And we're going to read how far it goes. Now, right now it's minus 2 degrees out. So that, actually, let me get my piece of paper here. Let's see here. I'll show you this. Uh, here's a chart. It's kind of a crude method, but I'm not sure if you can read that. Okay, these are the voltages for the temperatures. So 9.6 volts, 20 degrees Celsius, or 68 degrees Fahrenheit and above. The battery is good. All the way down to 8.5 volts and minus 8 degrees, 18 degrees Celsius. Uh, but we're between, we're, we're looking for 9.1 volts because we're right now it's minus 1 degree Celsius right now. So we're looking for 9.1 volts. So let's, uh, I'll show this chart on the, uh, I'll take a better shot of it and throw it up in the video if you can't read this. So let's go back to the load tester. And we're going to push the button here. 10 seconds. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're reading about eleven between eleven and twelve on the meter. So that is a good battery. If it goes below nine point one volts, shut that light out there. Oh, that's way better. There we go. If we go nine point one volts. Between the 8 and the 10. See where it's yellow? It says weak. If it goes at the 9.1 volts or lower, then you have to replace the battery. So, this is the test they do at Hyundai on a service one when they do your oil change. So, now let's, uh, we're going to start the car and we're going to run a test on the charging system, which is this diagram right in here. And this arrow should be within the green zone here if our charging system is working okay. So let's go uh, find the keys here. Okay. There you go. It's at the top end of the green. So we know our charging system's working good. So there you go, that's how you test your battery. It's a pretty simple test. Uh, you can do this at home. You're gonna need a load tester, you can get these at any store. And like I said, every three months I suggest you, you test your battery. Make sure it's working okay, because you don't want to end up not be able to start your car in the winter. So, and thanks for watching. And another thing too is, uh, if you do need a new battery, Make sure you keep the old one and bring it in because some, some companies charge what they call a core charge and they'll, uh, they'll make you pay an extra 15, 20 bucks on top of the purchase of the battery. So if you bring in your old battery, you'll save that, 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 that fee. And uh, like I said, a battery usually between three to five years is usually what you'll get out of one of the batteries. Now this is three and a half years old and still running strong. But like I said, uh, you can do this test anytime. I usually do it every three months, so.